What is the snail trying to do to the sea cucumber? And how is the sea cucumber trying to respond? And what are the sea slugs doing here, underwater in the sand? And finally, what curious structure is this? How's it going everybody? We are again underwater in the Philippines, off Negros Island, in a so-called muck diving site, a site without corals, without much structure, mainly with sand, but with amazing, amazing animals. And let me mention, please support the channel, like this. Leave a comment, share it on your social media. Also, my paper is in the description. Now, these are two sea slugs, and they are so called pleurobranchs. They are a sister group to the much more well known group, the nudibranchs. Uh, the, their gills are in a body cavity, and they are mating. They are mating underwater at night. This is a really rare event. I've actually seen a, a few photographs of that online, but I don't think there's much footage of that. Now, interestingly, their bodies are pulsating. So it seems that there's some, some active process going on while they're mating. When you're seeing nudibranchs mating, they're typically standing completely still. Now, how does the sex life of these animals work? The thing is, these are gastropod mollusks, so like your garden snails or your garden slugs. And so that means the hermaphrodites. They are typically males and females at the same time. And so each can fertilize the other. And they typically form this tunnel, and you can see that here. The skin is slightly pink there, and they transfer the sperm from one animal to the other via this tunnel. So this is a fantastic event here. I was so excited when my deaf buddy Laura pointed that out. And, you know, look at the close-up. So again, there seems to be some active pumping movement to transfer sperm from one animal to the other. This is something I've never seen in any other sea slug. It's, this is a very curious thing because this Oiselinops luniceps, this species, is a very active sea slug. They, they move very quickly. Now, here you can quite clearly see that these are two animals that was not really obvious underwater, so they just looked as a you know, one pile of sea slugs if you just quickly took a look at this situation. And you can again see this pulsating pumping movement. They are both about the size of a small person's hand. So these are relatively large nidibranchs. They are generally very rare animals. But in this dive site you know, of uh, Bakong in the Philippines, uh, on Negos Island, they are, are relatively common. So again, you know, this is a close-up of the... Uh, part where they're touching and again you can see this pumping movement so I was extremely excited to film this piece of natural history this dive site is sandy as I pointed out there's some seagrass it's heavily fished so I believe this leads to some kind of invertebrate release that a lot of these invertebrates are doing really well because the fish are gone so nobody's preying on them now i'm not even sure which fish would prey on these or uh, whether they are poisonous or not but it's quite noticeable that this side is very rich in all kinds of crustaceans and mollusks especially at night now this mating went on for about 10 minutes from the point where we found them together to the point where they separated so here they are, they are towards the end of this mating period it seems that they're already getting ready to separate uh, you can also see this snow of little shrimp which are always attracted to my video light at night 
this shows you that this is a night dive so this is again a close up of the rhinopore of one of these animals very pretty leopard like pattern on these again you know they're, they're moving all over the mating process which is something which nudibranchs don't do at all and here they're just separating and you see with what speed they move and they just go off in separate directions so each of these male and female at the same time and see this is only about a minute after the mating ended and they're already a meter apart so these are very quick in re relation to in comparison to other sea slugs what a cool event this was so exciting i was talking about nothing but this for about half a day i'm sure i got on a few people's nerves so this is a sea slug which just got laid now you saw it on the pacific class youtube channel now this was not the only amazing piece of natural history i saw on these dives this one single dive now this is a snail and i believe the genus is tonna and it is inspecting the sea cucumber potentially it's trying to prey on it and the sea cucumber i'm not quite sure what it is it's maybe it's holoturia or uh, genus holoturia it seems to be a juvenile so that was only about 15 centimeters long the sea cucumber now look at the left side of the sea cucumber there are these strands coming out of the anus and these are these defensive sticky strands which they can expulse when they feel threatened so it did that this is a close-up of these strands and now they got dislodged they are separated from the anus uh, they're very sticky and i believe they're also mildly neurotoxic and while it didn't catch the snail with that it it made an effort to you know deploy its defensive systems so the sea cucumber is clearly in distress it's moving around and the snail is checking it out with its proboscis at one point i had a strong impression that my video light was influencing what was going on because the snail started to bury itself in the sand so i stopped filming this story so i can't even tell you how this ended whether the snail started to eat it now what is this can you possibly guess so this is ink which was jetted out by a squid now at this dive site and here again you actually see quite a nice overview over the dive site with a lot of seagrass and some sea pens also this dive set also regularly has squid and here is a pair of them very curious animals big eyes they're looking at us just like we are looking at them and they were hunting in the dive site you know on top of the sand uh, at night so this was probably around 8 p.m and so here you see it's trying to get little fish which are again attracted to my video light so this squid actually profited from my presence uh, they're very fast growing so they, they really need to eat large amounts of fish every day to sustain that so here's a close-up it's trying to get, go for this fish but the fish just escapes so the squid will have to try again to get a meal and they also it was quite noticeable how they stuck together as a pair I hope you enjoyed this. Again, you know, like, subscribe, share, comment, and check out my book, The Lives of Gobies. Thank you.